What's up everybody? Welcome back to the Crystal Palace and welcome to Universal Studios Florida. In this video, I will be giving you a complete tour of this park right here. Shortcuts, secret areas, overview of the park and everything you need to know. So let's go ahead inside. Here we are at the very front of the park. Now this is going to be a quick simple short and sweet overview of everything you need to know where is everything in universal studios florida i'm going to be walking the path of what you might typically do when you're coming to universal studios florida in the morning which is walk right to diagon alley first and go to harry potter and the escape from gringotts so let's go so we are walking up to the gates here at universal studios florida it is 4 p.m so that's why there's nobody here but you want to have your pass out and ready. Make sure you have your ticket printed or on your app or your annual pass out so you're not fumbling at the gate. They use facial recognition technology so you'll scan your pass, they'll take a short picture of you and then you'll head inside. And we are inside the park. So right here to your left starts the big Universal Studios Florida store. To the right here is My Universal Photo store. So if you get My Universal Photos, you can pick up all of your photos at the end of the day right in this shop. They also have some essentials in here like hats, sunglasses, sunscreen, in case you forget anything. To the right here, you can make dining reservations and they also have their Today Cafe, a great spot for breakfast. They have some healthy options in here, which is really nice. And then we are headed straight and we're gonna walk through Minion Land. So here's the first way that you could split. You can go right towards Hollywood. This is ET, etc., etc. We're gonna go straight through Minion Land. As of 2023, Minion Land is now open in Universal Studios Florida. To the left here, don't be fooled, this is a dead end. You don't want to walk all the way down there and waste any more steps for the nothing. Minion Land is home to two rides, Despicable Me, Minion Mayhem, and Villain Con Minion Blast, which are right across the street from each other. And at the end of each ride, there is a store. So here is evil stuff and here is super silly stuff. Now we come to this intersection right here and to the left, we have the entrance to Hollywood Rip Ride Rocket, that big tall roller coaster right there, as well as Universal Music Plaza, which is where they hold some concerts during Mardi Gras in the summer, 4th of July and the holidays. The right is a little extension of Minion Land. Don't miss Illumination Theater. Look at that, we got minions out here. Here you can meet your favorite Illumination characters. Next to Illumination Theater is Bake My Day store. They have a nice sweet treat shop in here as well as really cute souvenirs. Another part of Minion Land, Freeze Ray Pops. Here you can get some pretty expensive ice pops. But I will say, they are super cute. Here starts the Minion Cafe. This is one of my favorite quick service locations in all of Universal Orlando Resort. And the air conditioning in here is absolutely amazing. There are restrooms if you're eating in the Minion Cafe, but there's also restrooms right over there next to Music Plaza you can use. On this corner, we have the fairly new Pop Banana Stand where you can get banana flavored popcorn. And directly across is a little food stand where, as you can see, they have the Coke Freestyle machines here. So if you get a souvenir cup, this is one of the locations to fill up. I'll be sure to point out each freestyle station in this tour. Pretty basic hot dog churro, soft pretzel chips, and some beverages. Here is one big square around Central Park. This is a smoking area in here. So if you want to avoid that, you know it's right there. We'll walk this way just to show you what is down this way, but we're all gonna end up at the same spot, which is that corner back in there. On your left here starts New York, my hometown, with the Tonight Shop and Race Through New York starring Jimmy Fallon Ride. Across from Jimmy Fallon is another food stand. Here you can find New York pizza slices, beverages, and a soft pretzel. Don't miss Rip Ride Rocket going through this building here. Down this corner is a dead end, but it might be a great place to catch your breath, relax away from the crowds, and watch Rip Ride Rocket go by. Here is uh, some empty buildings but you can usually find the Halloween Horror Nights Tribute Store. Now, continuing up this street to the left, we have Revenge of the Mummy. This is an indoor roller coaster attraction that is a lot of fun. And to the right, we have one of my favorite restaurants in all of Universal Orlando, and that is Finnegan's Bar and Grill. I absolutely love eating here. In this ship right here, we have the Mummy Gift Shop on Arcade, as well as a unique Irish shop. On the street to the right here, we have the Blues Brothers Show. So this is a fun street show you can enjoy in Universal Studios, Florida. Not much else is down this street, just a way to 
cut through and get to Transformers. The entrance is right there, but we'll get that on our way back. We also have Auntie Anne's right here. If you are a fan of Auntie Anne's pretzels, you're in luck because they have them here. Right next to Auntie Anne's is a little cut through too. I really like this. There's literally nothing <laughs> in this sidewalk. They're doing a lot of construction, so it's closed right now. So right outside of the arcade, they do have a fuel rod charging station. If you buy a fuel rod, you can swap it out right there for a fully charged one, as well as an ATM. Here is the arcade. We're gonna cut through it just so I can show you what they have in here. But it's fun for a rainy day or a really hot day if you wanna come in here and cool off a little bit. So this brings us out to, as you can see, pretty much right where we were on the right is the Irish shop. Right there is Louie's, which we will pass shortly. And right to the left down this dead end are just restrooms. Walking back out on that main strip, right across we have haagen -Dazs. If you wanna get a nice sweet treat on a hot day, you can get haagen -Dazs. And on the corner, Starbucks. Across from Starbucks is Louie's, and here is a quick mobile ordering window. So if you want anything like gelato or pizza to go, you don't wanna sit inside, you can mobile order at this window. So here's a menu for the quick window ordering for Louis. And this is Louis restaurant, a quick service Italian restaurant here in Universal Studios, Florida. Don't mind all the construction going on here. As I said, they are working on some fun and exciting updates. So typically you will be able to walk this way to head towards Transformers, but that's closed right now. And they're working on this statue too. Outside of Louis, they have another fruit stand where you could get fruit bowls, juice, soda, water. So making a left, we are now in the San Francisco area. Here is another street show. You can watch the Beat Builders perform. Here is Fast and Furious Supercharged. To the left is a pretty hidden first aid location. And of course, we are circling now the Universal Lagoon. Here, you can expect a nighttime show. Sensational. Outside of Fast and Furious is San Francisco Snacks, where you can get pretzels, chips, soda, water, and across the street is Richter's Burger Co., another quick service location here. And if you can see, they have seating all along throughout the back and it circles around. This is a great area, not during lunch, but in the morning and at night if you wanna take a break from the crowds because it gets really quiet back here. We ran into some more construction, but this is a bar that's very popular, Jaws themed bar. And right across the way, we have some more restrooms. These are very, very, very busy because as you can see, they're right in the middle of the street. But we also have another store right here, the San Francisco Candy Factory. If you're looking to stop and get a sweet treat, you can find it in here. Over here to the right is Lombard Seafood Grill, a nice sit down restaurant. So across is the exit gift shop and the exit to Fast and Furious ride. And they have a little Forever Pearls, little jewelry stand here if you're familiar. And right next to it is a nice spot for breakfast, San Francisco Pastry Co. They also have quick bites for lunch too. Right across is a fairly new street stand that has some hot food, chilled food, beer, and boba teas. In here, the fire alarm is going off right now, so sorry if you hear that. But they have amazing pictures where you can put your face into a picture. You can get a character torture done in here. Over this way is another great spot to decompress for the crowds. Then to the left over here, we have one of the main attractions for the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. This is the Hogwarts Express entrance from King's Cross Station. Takes you over to Islands of Adventure, Hogsmeade. And a little nod to Jaws. We are about to walk by Diagon Alley. And as you can see, there is a split road here. If you're trying to get past Diagon Alley, you don't want to go to Diagon Alley, you just want to go to the rest of the park, I would suggest taking this road to the right here. Just takes you around, as you can see, the crowds over on this side. To the left, there is an ATM right in between here. Over here to the right, we have a merchandise stand all about the night bus. Yeah. And this right here, you might actually miss it if you don't watch this video. This is the entrance to Diagon Alley. It's hidden and it's well themed. And then of course, right out here, we have the night bus, which is really fun if you wanna stop and chat with the driver. So let's head into Diagon Alley and I'll take you a quick tour around. Diagon Alley is mostly gonna have shops, but it does have the Leaky Cauldron quick service location right here. You won't wanna miss Nocturne Alley, which you can find right back here next to the Fountain of Fair Fortune. Borgen and Burks is in here as well. You won't want to miss every 10 minutes the dragon breathing fire. Right below the dragon breathing fire is Harry Potter and the Escape from Gringotts, one of the best attractions. You're going to want to head here first in the morning. More shops in here and also a stage that has shows throughout the day. When you walk out of Diagon Alley, we'll see the night bus again and my favorite potato stand here. 
make sure to look up because you might see some friends in the wizarding world. So then we come to some more restrooms. To the left over here is literally nothing. <laughs> Down this way is the old Fear Factor live stage that is vacant, but that means it is a good spot if you want to rest, decompress, you could do it back there. Then we're going to be crossing this bridge. You get a nice view of where we just were over on the other side of Universal Studios Florida. On the bridge, they have two Coke Freestyle machines if you want to refill, as well as another snack stand. Now, of course, there's a lot more to this park, like in Diagon Alley, but I'm just giving you a quick brief overview just to get familiar and to see what to expect when you're coming here. I personally love the layout of Universal Studios Florida. I think it's very easy to navigate. There are some great spots where you can rest, decompress, and relax. You can also walk this way to go to Men in Black Alien Attack. That's down right there on the other end. That is a interactive shooting ride. There's a snack stand over there, a gift shop, as well as a Coke Freestyle booth. Now we are making our way into Simpsons Land. Here you can find two attractions, the Simpsons Ride and Hurl and Twirl. You can find dining locations, snack stands, and fun carnival games. In this area here are a bunch of the carnival games you can play. Right here is the hot dog stand. Here is the entrance to Twirl and Hurl, which is a Dumbo style flat ride. Then we have the Quick E Mart, which is a super cute Simpsons themed store. I have a full in-depth tour of Simpsons Land. If you want to check it out, I'll link it in the description. To the right, we have Duff Beer Bar, as well as a merchandise stand for all your Duff essentials. To the left, this is all Simpsons Fast Food Boulevard. There's a bunch of seating in here. Simpsons Land is home to one of my favorite spots for relaxing. As you can see, once again, off-peak lunch times. We also have Bumblebee Man's taco truck. Next to it are some photo ops from Back to the Future. Here is the entrance to Simpsons Fast Food Boulevard. Once again, quick service location, as well as the restrooms. And continue walking down. This is an entrance to Central Park, which is where you can watch the Lagoon Show. That's not open yet. That's why there's construction. Next to it, we have another snack stand and animal actors on location. They have a few show times throughout the day. Next to the snack stand, you could get your face painted, your hair braided in a hair wrap, or caricatures. And we'll head to the left where we can find the future DreamWorks land. It is not open quite yet as of the recording of this video, but it will be right down this way, right next to the SpongeBob store pants. So this whole area here, and it will go way back is the brand new DreamWorks land. Next to SpongeBob store pants, there are some more restrooms. And walking down this way, make sure you don't miss out on ET Adventure, the oldest attraction here at Universal Studios Florida. Outside of Animal Actors, there's tents with tables here if you wanna sit and eat anything. And to the right of the pizza company, this area is pretty much quiet all the time when this is not open, of course. And here are those Coke Freestyle machines. Let's carry on. We are walking down this path right now. They do have a little kiosk here for some essentials as well as pins. This is pretty interesting. This is a media center, and sometimes they'll have some team members standing out here asking you to take a survey. You can go in there and spend 60 minutes to 70 minutes or however long it takes completing a survey, and they'll give you a universal gift card in return. To the left, we have a seating area because this is a little cocktail bar here and to the right more freestyle machines as well as central park crepes a very popular crepe stand to the left is cafe la bamba restaurant this is one of my favorite quick services in universal this is where the universal parades will start and end it's right next to the horror makeup show as well a really cool show so now here we're at a crossroads yet again we can go down hollywood boulevard or we can go right to go kind of back looped around as you can see we made one big loop around the lagoon let's continue our loop we'll make a full circle around the lagoon but we will backtrack and i'll show you what hollywood boulevard is like as well so if you remember from before when we were over at illumination theater there is where you can meet the transformers right down this alley here is battery park a nice place to uh, hang out relax so if we head right this way we are going to be circling now the transformers ride as you can see the exit shop to the transformers ride is right in front of us and here is the front of the transformers ride as you can see this is the street that finnegan is finnegan's is on right here this is where you would be able to loop around and get to starbucks here bulls gym is a store that has 
classic Universal merchandise like Jaws, Ghostbusters, and just walking this way really quick to show you a street that we did miss. Kind of it's like an all roads lead to Rome situation with this nook and cranny in the middle. Here is the Park Plaza holiday shop where you can experience Christmas all year round. And then this is just <laughs> another street. They have a food stand with Coke Freestyle locations as well as some tables. And once again, that is the smoking section. Okay, now let's backtrack and go back to show you Hollywood Boulevard, which is literally parallel to where we are right now. So of course, this is the iconic Mel's drive-in from American Graffiti. And this is a quick service location where you can get your classic hamburgers, chicken fingers. And it's really fun to take some pictures with the cars outside because these are the cars that were in American Graffiti. And here is one of my personal favorite spots in all the park. Look how wide this street is. Like <laughs> Theme park fans know and appreciate wide streets. It doesn't feel too crowded. To the right, we do have, this is the location for the tribute store for summer, Mardi Gras, and holidays. If you want to get some ice cream in your day here in Universal, hit up Schwab's Pharmacy. It has really great retro theming in here as well. Right across the street is the Five and Dime. This is the exit gift shop for both the horror makeup show and the Born Stuntacular, which we will get to in a bit. And here is the Born Stuntacular show. The Brown Derby hat shop is super cute, but it's usually not in use. And make sure you stop and go at all the uh, traffic lights. This right here is a cute Hello Kitty shop that connects. So this whole building over there, it spits you out right at the Minion Land sign, all shopping. And as you can see straight ahead, we are back. So we're right in front of the Universal Studios store again, Today Cafe. But to the left of the Today Cafe, I do want to show you this breezeway really quick. Here they have another fuel rod station, pressed penny machine, and an ATM. Newly refurbished restrooms. And this is the best water fountain in the park because it's new. Next to the restrooms, you can find the family-sized lockers. Family-sized lockers are larger than the large lockers, of course, and they are $20 as of the recording of this video per day. And here are the larger locker stations, $15 a day. If you bring a backpack, you don't want to carry it around all day. You also can't bring larger backpacks onto rides. They do have lockers available that are this size, but you have to pay for them too. So if you want to leave anything at the front, you can do that right here. Here is the Lost and Found Health Services. And of course, as we just saw, the locker rentals. This way is guest services, VIP experience. And if you're a Universal Plus card holder, this is the lounge right here. And as you can see, we're back at the front gate. So that is it, everyone. That is our tour of Universal Studios Florida. How did I do on time? I really hope you enjoyed this quick abbreviated version of a full Universal Studios Florida tour. I love this park so much, so I wanted to share it with you all, condensed version, so you can see what you're getting yourself into when you come here. Thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to Crystal Palace right down below. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.